All right, so what I'm going to show you right now is a bucket choke from the top. Um, so let's get right into it. I'm in top side control, yeah, in this position. First thing I want to do is I want to get a cross face. This hand will go into his armpit or lateral. I'm going to put some shoulder pressure. I'm going to roll him that way. As I roll him this way, my knee is going to scoot under his head, under his neck. At the same time, my elbow is at his hip and my right knee is behind his back. So I'm kind of keeping him in place here. It's not the best control, but it's good enough to keep him in position for what I need to do. As I have him on the side, I'm going to bring this arm over. I'm going to make a connection with my elbow and my knee. So I'm going to connect these two. This will allow me to lift him up. I'll show you how I do this. I roll a bit forward. I lift him up like this. I post my foot. As soon as I do so, I'm going to bring my arm under my calf. I'm going to grab my toes if I can, yeah? You don't always have to grab your toes, but it helps. You can also keep such a grip here like a fist. It will also be enough to finish. As I'm here, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my heel back and my toes slightly outwards. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flex my lat. I'm going to sit down on my foot, towards my foot, so that my knee goes over my toes. And this will give the tap. 